what's happening. So most of this video is gonna be heavily on coding and utilizing the Hugging Face platform. But first, today I just wanna introduce you to Hugging Face, a company that is revolutionizing natural language processing and AI. Hugging Face provides a broad range of pre-trained models and tools like transformers, tokenizers, and data sets, making AI accessible to anyone and eliminating the need to start from scratch. This platform fosters collaboration, openness, and encourages knowledge transfers among AI enthusiasts across the globe while emphasizing responsible AI. Hugging Face, you are going to love it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Go to huggingface.co and then log in or sign up, depending on where you're at in this journey. All right, so after you log in, um, you'll come to your default pages. We're gonna go ahead and start off on models. All right, so now we're on the model page. On the model page is laid out on the left. They're kind of filters for each area, computer vision, natural language processing, audio. Uh, and then in, on the right is the list of models. So we're gonna be working on object detection, which is in computer vision, object detection, that will update this information right here. If I want to filter it more, um, I can type in the name. Or if I want to do sorting, I can easily sort by most downloads or trending. So we're going to go ahead and open. So now my model card's open. This model card has a lot of information that is highly beneficial. It tells you about the information on the model, the description, um, code samples and kind of how the model will look. To get started, the easiest, fastest way is deploy. So click on deploy, go to the API. We're gonna go ahead and copy this and then open up any of your editors that you love using. Go ahead and paste it in. I don't have a picture of a cat, but what I did do is I did go down to free images. So we'll just do K2 on this one. Let's save, I think the, okay, that should do it. So we're gonna go ahead and open up the terminal window and Python 3 app. And there you go, not too pretty. Um, so actually what I did was I created this program called Prettier uh, and that's what we're gonna add in here just so we can uh, make it a little bit better. Import, uh, what was it called? Helper. As HP. And then instead of doing that, we're gonna do hp.prettier output, and we're gonna go ahead and save, and we'll go ahead and run it again. And then you'll see the output's a little bit easier to understand. There you go. So basically, and let me bring up the picture. What did I do, K2? All right, so this is the picture it analyzed, and it said that there was a refrigerator, two cups, a microwave, a refrigerator, two cups, a microwave, a uh, potted plant, and an oven. I see the oven. It mistaked this as potted plant, even though it looks like a fruit bowl, uh, but not too bad. So now we're gonna use the transformer libraries. We're gonna hit transformer. We're gonna go ahead and copy it. Go back to our code. From here, we're just going to delete the stuff I had for the API, delete it. And I think I just need to change this to pipe, save. And, and this word can be anything. It can be yo-yo, yo. So it really doesn't mean, to, it just needs to know that I'm, I'm going over there. So we'll just keep it like that. We'll go ahead and run it again. All right, so there you go. I did come up with a couple of little errors that you pop up. You'll see these every so often, little warning signs of stuff. Uh, but the output, output became the exact same as the other one. Um, so good stuff. Next one we're gonna do is we're gonna do the local version of it. So this one's the, the model local. So we're gonna copy that one, go back to our code. I think on this one, I just gotta come up over here do that, um, add pipe, pipeline, and I think I need to add the extractor. Extractor, and I think that's about it. 
I'll move this back to pipe just to play around more. Let's roll. All right, so there you go. Like clockwork, same information. <coughs> so what we're gonna do, I'll do this one last one. I'll just pull K1 up and run that one. And what this one is, is this one right here. So def, uh, different image. And all these images I did get from um, freeimages.com. All right, so there you go. Uh, you can see it detected different things. This time, two chairs, a sink, potted plant, and an oven. Two chairs, looks like there, an oven, uh, a sink, and potted plants. Again, I don't see any potted plant. Oh, what's right there? Yeah. So I guess it did pick those up. So, good stuff. These things do download the model locally. So if you do ever need to see where that is, let me show you where that's at. Okay, so if you ever need to find where these models were downloaded to, they're actually in a hidden directory on your root of your um, your home home directory. So on this one right here, I just go in here and I hit uh, the command shift period on a Mac, and it will show me my hidden files. I go into my cache, go into there, hugging, and if you go into the hub, um, this will actually show you all your all your models that I have downloaded and saved locally. Um, if they not downloaded locally, they will download it during runtime. I only create this to make things easier and you're probably asking, how could it be easier than I just showed? Uh, when you go to scale and try different models, you're also gonna start to run into some little issues uh, and this is gonna help you out. Um, it has the API we went over, the pipeline, the local, um, and the one thing I did put in there is this right there, which is the get model info. This right here is gonna help you out solve most of any conflicts that you have. And usually it's gonna be that line right there, the, the architectures. And it's mostly because of the, the auto modeler being incorrect. So thank you very much for watching. Enjoy your day. Bye-bye.